Hi everyone, my name is Poli Jomli, metric number CP190072. I'm a construction technology management student at University Tun Hussein on Malaysia. Today, I would like to talk about the incident that I had chosen from my assessment, which is sinking of Kansai International Airport. So now let's move to the introduction. Kansai International Airport located on artificial island which has 2.5 km wide and 4 km long was proposed. It was the first man-made offshore structure on the world. This airport is at 5 km offshore at an average depth of 18 m to 20 m sea level. Construction start in 1987 and then the sea walls has finished in 1989 which is made of rock and 48,000 tetrahedral concrete blocks. There also three mountains were excavated for 21 million meter cube was used to construct the island. In 1990, a three kilometer bridge was complete to connect the island to the mainland. The island had been predicted to sink 5.7 meter, which is 19 feet by the most optimistic estimate as the weight of the material used for construction compressed the seabed seats. However, in 1990-99, the island had sunk 8.2 meter, which is 27 feet, much more than predicted. So now let me show you the location of Kansai International Airport. Kansai International Airport located on the artificial island in the middle of the Osaka Bay. And this is the view of Kansai International Airport, which is consists of two terminal, which is Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. So now, let's move to the factor, an effect due to the sinking of Kansai International Airport. The factor of sinking of Kansai International Airport is first geological feature of seabed of the island. It is because of the soft clay under the ocean floor could not support the island's weight. Second is poor to earthquake and typhoon. Okay now let's talk about the effect. First effect of sinking of Kansai International Airport is first the continuous sinking. Airport was sinking faster than expected and it also reportedly sank 10 meter after 3 years. This was faster than initial expected rate. Second is airplane landing. The sponge soft clay of seabed deformed the runway. Last but not least, we will talk about the solution on how to improve the soil condition. First is, adjustable column were designed to support the terminal building to compensate the sinking of island, extended by inserting thick metal plate at their bases. Second is, different types and size of coarse rock and gravel are used by the engineers to help in precisely liquefaction during earthquake. They construct high sea wall to help battle typhoon and big wave. And lastly is hydraulic jack are installed in the column to support the terminal building. That's all from me. Thank you.